after the first year in the sack, Philippe, what are your what are your feelings about where where the team is at? Yeah, I mean, you know, first year was extremely challenging for us. It was a moment where we had to adopt for one year to not just the players, the girls, but you know, us as coaching staff. We had you know, we had to adapt to what the sack has to offer. You know, the quality, the players, the, the speed of play, all that type of stuff. Um, however, you know, we have a very new squad. We have uh, you know, almost if not more than 50% of the team is brand new. Uh, and brought a different dynamic, um, not just in terms of quality and playing, but just just the environment, the the chemistry as well. Um, we feel most of the players are similar age group, and that helps a lot. Uh, and I feel it's a different, it's a completely different team. I mean, it gives us a lot of good positive feelings to coaching staff. We talk about this multiple times. The team gives us a lot of positive feelings, and you know, we look forward to start conference play for sure. How have you transitioned? You know, from being a being a student athlete to now into a coaching role at, a, at another yeah. um, Well I think being a student athlete has definitely helped me because I understand uh, the difficulties of balancing work, schoolwork with, with soccer. Um, but Philippe's helped me a lot, you know, I'm learning every single day. Some days, some days, <laughs> not always. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's been great. The girls are really receptive, practice has been really good intensity. So. Still learning, uh, but loving it so far. Good. I felt like every game we were in, like there wasn't any team that just came out and totally dominated us. How do you coach the girls to overcome that and get to the next step of, you know, competing with the top teams and, and really just getting to the finish line? Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. I feel like, you know, when you are doing the season and unfortunately the results didn't go as we wanted, you know, most of the times, but uh, like you say, we're competing. And But during the season, it's hard for us to look from the outside and try to analyze really how the season is going. But uh, once the season was over, we did our reflection, you know, things that went well, things didn't go as well. Um, and after we take a look at all the games, I agree with you. I mean, we compete against a lot of them. We knew there was, you know, four, three, four teams that, um, in the first year it was going to be difficult to compete and the results were obvious on those teams but the rest of them I think compete pretty well. We had results that to be fair we should have got them if that makes sense. We tie against Marzil, we tie against Coker, I mean we are the first soccer program at Emory to score points in SAC uh, which is very impressive and you know all credit to the girls um, and I think it comes from that where we left off in the SAC and you know where we want to go I think that incentivates us coaches to be better to make our girls better so the program overall is better, if that makes sense. Go back to the record last year. So obviously, you know, we've talked about last year, talked about preparations and everything. What are your guys' expectations this year? How do you think the team is going to fare? Yeah, I mean, we, we talked a little bit at the beginning of August about this, what our expectations, what we want to achieve. And of course, we want to win every game if we can. But uh, I think the priority right now and being realistically is get that first win in the sack. Uh, take care of non-conference play, uh, especially you know, against teams against King, who's our local rivalry. Virginia State, we play them this year, who is, like us, the only two Division II schools in the state of Virginia. So those two are massive games for us. Bluefield State as well has been a local rivalry as well, and we need to take care of business. Um, but, you know, we define, and I'm not going to say it for the secret of the business, isn't it? We define three or four games that we feel that we need to try to get a result out of it, that we need to you know, finish what we started last year. Uh, we know some of them will be, I won't say will be difficult to compete, but it will be a challenge, it will be a bigger challenge, but we know there's a few teams where we cannot put up a result. And it's, it's actually funny because I was talking to Joe yesterday about our, uh, the preseason poll, we got 13 votes, so that means one or two teams decide not to put us, you know, in the bottom like we were last year. So that means one or two teams thought that, okay, they have something going on this year. Uh, and that's important to us as well. That means they are, again, we don't care what other people say, but uh, still it's important to know that some people are prepared for something different this year. And that's good, that's good to know.